Hi, good evening people. This is Marie Annalyn. It's late in the evening but I'm doing this video para sa mga letter sender ko and followers sa anninadella at gmail.com So I received around 52 letters and answered around 23 of them. One by one talaga. I replied one by one sa lahat ng mga letter senders ko. I would like to thank you all for trusting me and sending me your, you know, nincompoops of your life. <laughs> it's uh, very uh, hard for someone to express themselves, no? Sa mga ganito na mga problema or sa mga gusto nilang ipaabot sa taong hindi nila kilala. But because of this, I am really very honored to receive all your, your letters that you trusted me. So, I'm not also saying that to, you have to follow what I say or the pieces of advice that I gave you because sa akin lang naman, those are my opinions and I am not a perfect person who says we are perfect, no one is perfect only God is perfect in this world that we are living in right now so each and every one of us has its own imperfection and I have those, many of those I am not perfect my love is imperfect, my marriage is not perfect, my relationship is not perfect the person that I am is not perfect so I don't say na sa lahat na sinasabi ko tama sila para sa inyo so it's all up to you to decide for as long as I give you my pieces of advice my own opinion for the letters that you've sent me for the problems that you sent me and for the things that you open up to me sa iba naman po dyan na hindi ko po po sinasagot or baka bala ko po din hindi sagutin yung iba kasi po naman no need to reply naman po sa mga problema nyo parang niloloko niyo lang po ako kasi bakit ako magiging problema ninyo so siguro lang um, pinagtritipan niyo lang ako sa letters ninyo ano? so I don't have to answer those letters pasensya na po sorry po yun lang pong uh, dapat kong sagutin yung nire-replyan ko po sa email and for those who would like their letters to be op open to the public so no problem po I did discuss natin yan, I post natin yan but for the meantime, I received the 53 letters na ayaw nila ipapublish po ng mga problema nila so basically, almost 90% of the letters that I received are it is about relationship, it is about love and it is about problems of having a successful relationship. So, tinatali ko lang lahat yun. Bibigyan ko po kayo ng 11 tips for tonight para po sa inyong relationship to be successful. But I don't say these are really the right ones na dapat ninyong sundin. So, these are my own opinions as I've said. And nasa sa inyo po yan kung susundin ninyo o hindi. Unang-una, just listen to what I say and uh, ikaw na po ang mahala sa susunod na dapat din yung gagawin. So, lahat po dito naka-record yan, no? Lahat ng mga problema niyo, lahat ng mga letters na dito, the address, na dito lahat, your numbers, your... Basta lahat na dito sinusulat ko para hindi ko makalimutan, of course. And before we proceed, thank you so much for those people, sad na very kind, very generous to send me their gifts, see four gifts, and I'm so thankful with that. <laughs> sabi niya padalhan niyo ako ng gifts but thank you kasi I don't give my 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 complete address to anyone lang no so uh, kasi pag may isi-send kayo dapat hinihingi niyo sa akin yung complete address ko eh so salamat 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 sa mga kibigan ko na mababait anyway sige padayon ta no magigala mo padayon ta sa atong video karong gabi una so I guess with these pen and notebook lahat po nakasulat ang mga problema ninyo dyan. So, yun po ang official record ko. Meron din po akong hindi official yung scratch scratch lang na pwede itapo na wala. Meron din ako ito notebook. So, dito ko sinusulat yung mga tips ko para sa inyo tonight. So, first and, um, first and foremost, again, I am not saying I am perfect. It's all up to you. These are just my own opinion. How to have a uh, successful relationship. Paano po maging successful ang relationship, relationship ninyo na mawala po kayong problema kung meron kayong magiging uh, special someone in your life. So, una po sa lahat is of course, you have to build a relationship with the person that you love or you like because you cannot start a relationship without building a I mean, without building a relationship with a person. So, meaning po, you get to know each other first before po nadidiretso kayo na 
sabihin sa tao na you like the person, you love the person. Because actually, you cannot love the person once you do not get to know each other. It's not simply loving the person by just knowing the person today or just meeting the person online and love mo na siya. Probably, you develop a crush on the person. You like the person because you like the personality. You like the person physically, the way she talks or the way she handles herself or himself. But love is different. When you love the person, is you have to accept the person wholeheartedly. The entire person that he is or she is. So that is the type of love na kailangan po sa isang tao. Hindi lang na, ay, kadali ra, na in love na ka. I don't think that is love, okay? First is again, to build a relationship. That's the first thing that you have to do. Second, of course, is be a good listener. So dapat kayo, marunong din kayong makinig. Hindi lagi na ikaw lang ang salita na salita. Tulad ko, ako lang ang nagsasalita. Wala namang nasasabi sa akin na nakikinig sa akin kasi ako lang mag-isa. So, <laughs> kidding aside, uh, sa totoo lang, you have to be a good listener. When the other one has a problem, you listen. Do not talk. Just listen. Let her or him finish first talking and then do your thing after. You can give him or her pieces of advice, pieces of advice sa problema niya or just simply say, I love you. Thank you for sharing your problems. Don't worry. So, parang ganyan lang, um, kung magkaibigan lang kayo, uh, share something that will comfort, comfort him or her. So, be a good listener. Third, of course, is you have to engage activities together. So, doing sports together, going to the gym together, this is one way of getting to know each other. So, siguro, you go to the mall together, you go to the park together, getting to know each other, pero wala pang kung hindi pa kayo gaano magkakilala and you have not built a relationship, an intimate relationship with the person, siguro wala mo ng love-love. Papakita niyo lang sa kanya na happy kayo being together, happy ka na kasama mo siya, kasama mo siyang kumakain, kasama mo siyang nasa mall, nag, nag shopping or nag window shopping or whatever. So, do things together, like going to the movie together, dining out together, um, running out together, so ganyan. Kayong dalawa para ma-develop yung relationship and you, you will know each other better. Pang-apat po is gesture of love. What do you mean by this? You have to show the person that you love her, you love him. Not just by simply saying, I love you, I care for you, I miss you, pero wala naman sa gawa. So, dapat sinasabi mo sa ano mo, sa bibig mo, ginagawa mo rin. When you talk, do also your action. Because doing nothing doesn't prove yourself that you love the person. It's simply just for the word of it, for the heck of saying it. You make the person feel your love, your true feelings inside. So, kasi mahirap naman po na sabihin mo sa tao na you like the person, you love the person, pero wala kang ginagawa. Dapat you make the person very special. Yung galing po sa puso, hindi lang po galing sa bibig nyo. So that was it. Building a gesture of love. What's next? Number five is, this is just very fast, no? This is fast talk actually. Number five is maintaining a financial peace. What do you mean by this? If you are related with each other already, you live together, or you are already a couple, you're married already, or may relasyon na kayo, boyfriend, girlfriend na kayo na matagal, o kasi simula lang, I guess it's about you know, time for you also to set something na uh, may oras kayo, something na to talk about your finances. It is very, basically, it is very important para malaman niyo isa't isa kung ano ang para sa'yo, ano ang para sa kanya. It's better to share things together. Lili lang lahat na pa, puro sa babae, puro sa lalaki. Dapat po, pareho kayo. May plano kayo at may savings kayo. Kasi mahirap ang buhay ngayon. Kung magkahiwalay man kayo, di, nasa sa inyo na yan how to do it properly to divide the, the, the finances or the savings that you have. But don't pray na magkahiwalay kayo. Make your relationship successful, okay? So, ganyan lang. Everything you have to talk about financial matter with 
your partner. Dapat po sa mga lalaki, nagre-remit din po sa mga babae. Dahil hindi po tama na hindi binibigyan ng budget yung babae. Tapos yung mga babae, wag lang shopping ng shopping, wag bili ng bili. Dapat magsisave po. Make a list and prioritize everything para maging successful kayo sa inyong buhay. Lalo na po when you're together already, you need to talk with each other in terms of financial matter. Number six, what is number six that I could give you is create something special, an activity special together that minsan lang po ninyo ginagawa, hindi sa araw-araw. Yung araw-araw po is watching movie, going to the mall, going to the church, shopping, pero gumawa kayo ng special activity together na minsan lang ninyo ginagawa. Ano ito? Going camping together, going to the mountain together, or baka ha, mag, magkuan mo, mag bakasyon mo together, or simply, if you don't have money, you can enjoy each other pa rin. Kahit wala kayong perang malaki para sa panggastos, kung may mga kasambahay kayo, let them go out. Kung may mga bata kayo, let them go out. Just stay together at home. Create an ambiance para sa inyo. Light a candle at home. Or yung something special pa na hindi ninyo ginagawa lagi. So that's creating things or event, a special event together to make your relationship last or successful. Number six. I mean number seven. We are already number number seven. No? So ano ito? Be supportive with each other. What do you mean by being supportive with each other? So, kung may plano kayo, si lalaki o si babae man, dapat supportive kayo sa isa't isa. Kung nagpa-plano kayo ng negosyo, dapat supportive kayo sa isa't isa. Hindi lang po na ang isa lang ang gumagawa, dapat tumutulong din. Kung si, si babae ay may business, dapat si lalaki tinutulungan si babae para maging successful ang business. Kung may gagawin si lalaki, kung may project si lalaki, dapat si babae nandoon din, taga-supporta, kahit man lang taga-cheer sa lalaki. So, vice versa. Because you have to do it together. It has to be the both of you because it takes two to tango, as I've said. Dapat talaga may suporta sa bawat isa. So, what's next is of course, saying sorry. Ito napakahirap. Napakahirap gawin talaga sa iba na magsusorry kapag may kasalanan. Bakit? Because of pride. It's hard for you to say sorry because may pride ka. Why do you have to say sorry? Lalaki ka. Why do you have to say sorry? Babae ka. No. If you are mistaken, then say sorry. Even nga, kahit hindi mo kasalanan eh, kung gusto mo lang ng peace of mind and peace of pamilya or peace sa bahay nyo, you have to say sorry. Kung sinong mauna, mas maganda. Don't sleep together na walang sinasabing sorry ang bawat isa. So, sleep peacefully na wala kayong sakit dito sa puso. So, say sorry, okay? What's next? Well, being, you know, understanding, giving space to each other. You have to have the space. Yung bang si babae at si lalaki, may panahon rin para sa mga kaibigan, mag-shopping, going to the parlor, or doing sports sa mga barkada, going to the billiard, si lalaki, o baka kaya si babae. So, dapat bibigyan kayo ng space. Hindi lang puro kayong dalawa ang magkasama. Mahirap naman po kasi na puro lang kayo. Baka basikpulan mo. Baka someday you will realize na, ay, nakakasawa ka na. Nakakasawa na siya para sa akin. So, give space, alright? And, uh, what's number 10? Respeto. Respect. You have to respect each other. Hindi po na nag, nagsisigawan na lang kayo sa bawat uh, corners ng inyong bahay dahil hindi kayo nagkakaintindihan. No. It's better to treat each other with respect or to end things with respect than ending things with each other na wala ng respeto, na wala na lahat. Kasi ang ending yan, maging magkaaway kayo kapag magkahiwalay na kayo. So, just respect each other's idea, each other's differences. Di tayo pareho. Iba't iba tayo ng mga opinions, babae man o si lalaki. Kahit you love each other, we have different um, ideas, we have different things in our mind. Kung meron man tayong pareho, pero meron din pong mga bagay na hindi magkapareho. So lahat po, respeto lang. Tapos discuss it together. Again, in a relationship, kapag wala ng respeto, so hard na po, mahirap na po ang isang relationship. So, that is the best thing that you have to maintain in a relationship is respect. And the last one, of course, exciting ito sa mga lalaki, ewan ko rin sa mga babae, sex. It is very important. You have sex not because of lust. 
you have sex because you love each other. You do it together with love and passion. Yung iba kasi ng ngayon eh, kaya maraming may sakit na age from the ages 15 years old pataas. Kasi ginagawa kasi mm, laro ang sex eh, kahit walang love. Basta to just ease the pleasure or yung hotness na nafe-feel nila sa body nila or yung pinatawag nating kung sa Bisaya, pahigal ka, ayaw ka. Kung sa Tagalog, ano ba yun sa Tagalog? Yung, yung, I want, so hirap sa Tagalog. Basta yung, yung urge mo sa sex, kahit hindi mo mahal ang babae, gusto mo lang ipalabas, hindi mo mahal ang lalaki, gusto mo lang mag-enjoy, having sex, gusto mo lang maging happy, gusto mo lang ma-feel na mas nasarapan ka or whatever, but without love. You see, having sex without love is lust. And, Siguro hindi naman kayo mo enjoy kapag mag sex siguro kayo na wala kayong na-feel o love sa isang tao. I don't know ah, but this is my opinion. If you have sex with someone that you don't love, nakakadiri, di ba? Pero ewan ko lang, I don't know how you feel, pero that is my own opinion. But please have sex to the person that you love the most. Kasi masarap gawin yan sa tao na mahal mo. So, yun po ang 11 tips na bibigay ko sa inyo or pieces of advice na maibigay ko sa inyo sa ngayon lang. Maraming nga dapat gawin. There are so many things that you have to do of being successful in a relationship. But those are just, you know, tip of uh, an iceberg para sa inyo. Uh, para naman po malaman ninyo kung ano po ang iba't ibang bagay to be successful in a relationship. Pero don't worry ha, binivideo ko ito, I still re I will still reply your let letters one by one, step by step. So, hintayin nyo lang, yung nabasa ko na, alam nyo na kung sinong nabasa ko, or hindi, by just the point of giving you this video, alam nyo na, because 90% of my letter senders are actually about love and relationship. Next is about family and money. So, konti lang, yung isa may problema sa kanya sarili. <laughs> Kaya na-recommend ko siya sa isang psychologist. So, hindi ko kaya yung problema niya. Na-stress ako. Sumakit yung ulo ko. Anyway, uh, I think that will be all for now. This uh, video has been long. So, again, nagpapasalamat po ako sa inyong lahat sa pagpapadala ninyo sa akin ng inyong letters. I am so grateful that you send your letters to my anadala at gmail.com for dear Miss Anne. So, paki-add na lang po sa page ko, sa, sa personal page ko, it's Anne Marie's center page, and also my personal account sa so, Facebook, Anne Marie, or Marie Anna Linden, yung, yung, ano ko page is Anne Marie center page. Yung YouTube ko, hindi pa, yung YouTube channel ko, hindi pa masyadong active eh. May mga videos din doon, it's Marie Anna Lynn. you could watch. Again, thank you so much to all of you people, I love you and God bless. Stay safe, everyone. Mga lalas. Love you. Take care.